So when I go on vacation, I can't help but find somewhere that's got some great barbecue. And I did this on my most recent vacation. Any ideas where I might have gone on that vacation? Yeah, it's, it's right there. It's called Big Island. Yeah, I found Randy's chicken and ribs. So if you see these signs while you're driving by, make sure and stop. But I'll make sure and put a location link in here also, so you can come out and check out Randy's yourself. Look at that goodness. Oh, we got little, little flames on the far end there. So it's about 1.30. He's been going since about 9 o'clock, so I think they're kind of getting towards the end. Not cooking a ton more. He says he'd go through a couple hundred chickens every time that he does this. So. What a fun thing. What a great place to eat. Make sure you check out Randy's when you're on the Big Island. You're probably wondering, what does huli chicken and ribs mean? Actually, the word huli in Hawaiian means turning or to turn. So it's the fact that it's on a rotisserie and we've got both the ribs and the chicken turning around. So come get your huli chicken. Good, this is the man himself, hey, Randy. How you guys doing? We're here in Kealakekua at Randy's Huli Chicken and Ribs, checking out the grill. Oh, look at that goodness. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this? Um, going on 10 years. Okay, and yeah. you do a couple of days, two, three days a week? Two days, every Thursday, Friday, and every other Wednesday. Yeah. So do you have deep barbecue? Uh, Jeans that run for generations. I have cooking jeans for sure. Okay. I was a policeman for 23 years, and then I decided to do something else. Nice. Yeah. So this is your little side hustle in yeah. Uh, retirement. Yeah. 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 Are you from the island? Yep. Okay. Cool. So how many people do you serve a day? Uh, two or three hundred people a day. Oh man. Yeah. And most of it is just. Uh, um, advertisement of people driving through the smoke. We have a big van over there. We blow it on people. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, this is great. Yeah. So did you make the whole uh, setup here? We made this trailer, yep. 18 feet long, and we can put 80 chickens at a time on here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The oven wood, and so we light the fire in the morning in the pit. And then we spread it out and we just keep filling the Kiawe wood. It's kind of a, it's a, a family of mesquite. So part of the mesquite family, local to Hawaii yeah, here. Local. So it's different. It, it grows by the water, so there's salt in the wood. Oh, nice. Yeah. So half your time is cutting wood, the other time is uh, cooking. Those guys are the wood cutters. Oh, the young guys <laughs> cut the wood. Yeah, they cut the wood. Nice. So you just go home and lick your fingers all night? Smell like it all night the next day too, but yeah. That's what they say, real men smell like barbecue, smell right? Barbecue, I've got it. So you do chicken and ribs here. Chicken and ribs here, and we throw the ribs back in the smoker after. And then uh, up the hill here at the other house, Randy does the um, uh, brisket and roast pork. Starts in the night, or actually in the morning when we're doing firewood, we'll go down and cut the chiavi and get it all ready and chop it. And then he'll start the, um, the brisket and the rib, uh, pork and kind of goes all day long and then is ready the next morning. It's a lot of fun, a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, it's a labor of love, right? A labor of love, without a doubt. Randy so here's the dining room for Randy's. A little bit early today. I wanted to get a shot of the uh, full rotisserie going with the wood so uh, it's only about 10 o'clock they just opened not too many people around yet so this is the view that you get um, I think that's worth it on its own <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
axe and a half a chicken. We want everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's also good. <laughs> okay. All right, boys and girls, I got about 30 minutes of music left here on this Aloha Friday. I want to thank the Ua, uh, the rain, for um, guava jelly. Guava, guava jelly. He said you love me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it's it. It's just a little roadside place. There's the road. And uh, lots of traffic kind of going by. They blow the smoke out towards the road so you can get a good whiff of it. You can see it when you're driving by. Uh, but really, really good place. Had the full everything that they make. Chicken was absolutely wonderful. Loved the chicken. Uh, the ribs, both the beef ribs and the pork ribs, were terrific. Uh, pulled pork, just had a little mound of pulled pork, didn't have a sandwich. So I think it probably would have been better on a sandwich. Uh, with a little bit more barbecue sauce, just a little bit kind of mushy and bland uh, as kind of eaten on its own. So I'd recommend doing it as a sandwich. Um, it was good, didn't really, uh, didn't really make me go crazy for it though. And then the brisket was, was good. It was more of a pulled brisket as opposed to sliced brisket. So uh, that was good also. I mean, chicken and ribs is what it says on the sign. So that's what you should come here for. So when you're out on the big island and you want to have some great barbecue, come out to Randy's. He's open every other Wednesday and then he's open every Thursday and every Friday out here on the big island. So thanks for watching this and make sure that you like and subscribe if you appreciate the stuff that I'm doing. It really means a lot if you would subscribe, give me a like, and put any comments below. Give me some feedback on it. I'll also include down below information about how to find Randy's here on the Big Island. Mm -hmm.